Denver. Oh my God. I want to go so bad. I mean, uh, uh, bone broth? it is, it's a Lona life bone broth, but it's a special flavor today. Now, what do you do if you don't have my special flavor? Well, you can order it or you can, you can just sub some stuff. Okay. It is Thai curry. It is a Thai curry Asian flavor infused beef bone broth. Now, I haven't got to use it in my cooking yet. I've had it for a while. I did drink one and taste it just, for, you know, to see how it was going to be. And I loved it. I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Hello from Illinois. It's almost near Chicago. Hello from Michigan. Hola, Michigan. Or the Hola, Midwestern Northern States. Now, I'm taking some chicken breast here, you guys. And I'm leaving a little bit of fat on it. I'm not trimming it off 100%. Big, chunky pieces, I'm going to do that. Because, you know, even though we like our fat, um, you know, it doesn't cook well on, on this meat for what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to trim it off a little bit. And I've probably got about a pound of chicken thighs here. They're boneless. They're skinless. They're going to be convenient for cooking. I'm going to take this chicken, you guys. Um... Cubing it up, cubing it up, and then I'm going to get the pot really hot, and I'm going to season it, and put, put this chicken in there, and get it all browned up, take a slotted spoon, pull it out, then I'm going to put some veg in there, and we're going to have us a chicken stir fry, and we're going to set it over um, some collie rice. Uh, have you tried the Lono mushroom broth? I have, and I have one little package left, and it is not bad at all. Now, I did try one of their uh, collagen peptides, too. It was a little different for me. I, I should have drank it cold, and I didn't, so I, I, I don't know. It, it makes was, me nervous watching you use a knife whilst cooking up at, looking up at the camera. <laughs> yep, I'm a professional organist. I'm a pianist here. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, that is cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn this on. We're going to hit... Um, Where do you get your From Lono Live, you get it on. Now, I will tell you... Ooh, boy, howdy doody. Oh, I've never used this hot pot setting on here before. I've got big numbers. What's it at? 1,400. Woo! I know, right? I'm like, woo! Where is it? It's still there. No, it's not in here. I had to have moved it because I don't have any room in this place. It's down there. On the right side of the sink on the bottom. No, no. On the bottom. In the bottom right corner. All the way down. It should be in there in that jumble. You have oh, I can't get to it. Is it there? I don't know. I can't see it. It's dark. I can't. And I have but chicken on my hands. No. It's all off camera. <laughs> But I do have a wok, but it's a metallic, it's a metal. It is. It's big. It's either in the bottom cabinet. No, it's not in the bottom one. I know what I put in here. It's that clean window. So. It's down there. It's somewhere. So, um, I have, I get my Lona Life beef broth. I can buy it locally at the greenery, um, as well as, um, Drug Emporium. Now, they carry this, the little to-go packages, little zip packs. And they also carry uh, the K-Cups. But I haven't seen now. And they also come in little jars, little plastic jars. So you could just use it by the teaspoon if you like as well. And they also come in uh, these big, they come in these bigger packages that carry the little zip sticks in them. So, you, you know, like, for instance, you get a package with like 10. It's not under there. It might be on the shed. <laughs> So, oh, like these right here. Oh, and one of them, and who was it who sent me? Who was it? Oh, I wasn't allowed to say her name, I don't think. So, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So, like this one here is the beef bone broth, and you open it up, and it's got packages, individuals, and there's a whole bag of those. Okay, let's get some chicken in here. I'm going to 
gonna, I'm gonna hit this with a little garlic salt. I just wanna give it a little flavor. And this is how a lot of my recipes come about, y'all. This is a little Chinese five spice. I'm barely gonna give a shake. Just a little shake. A little bit of pepper. Like that. Oh, it already smells good. Mmm. -hmm. And I don't even know that we have to really take this chicken out of the pan because I'm just going to add veg to it. And I'm just going to let that cook. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to take my contaminated chicken board away. And wash my hands. And just gonna do this little thing here. All right. I want to get some peppers in here. I'm probably doing this wrong. Yeah, oh my. my head here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna turn this back up a little bit. Oh, doesn't that tiny spice spice already smell good? Can you smell it? I'm just doing it. I really don't smell I'm going to put a yellow pepper, a red pepper, and a little orange pepper. That's all we need. We don't need an overly amount. We just want a little flavor. We just want a little color. Heck yeah! I'm wearing flip flops today, y'all. And boom! Oh, all good. Now with these, I'm going to have long green beans, so I'm going to go with a long cut on these peppers. And I will tell you, aesthetically, if you're looking for something that really makes your mouth water cook for your eyes, too. You know, your, your, your tongue is one palate, your stomach is another, but your eyes are your last palate. And when something looks delicious, you know, it, that's where you get your first bite of satisfaction. Just a little to 1,200. Just fine. So now we've got some Julian pepper strips. And those are going to look really pretty along with the green beans. If you wanted, you could add mushrooms to this. I'm not going to because that one over there does not like mushrooms. But I love mushrooms. I love them. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to let this cook in chicken a little bit more because I want it to be brown. In the meantime, in the meantime, yes. Well, you get one, I get one. I don't want one right now. I want mine later. This is my collie rice, right, y'all. I'm gonna just conveniently pop it in the microwave. I like to hit the six-minute mark. Sorry. Behind the cheese. Lord, you did it. Please don't go there. Sorry, y'all. There you go. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Now, this is clean eating. This is budget friendly. I mean, you can buy, I spent $9.51 and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 chicken thighs for less than $10. This package can be broken down, redone, and put in. That's a, that's a great budget saving tip. Instead of buying smaller packages, buy the family pack and break it down. You're going to pay less per pound and you'll get more, more meat for your money. Now this this package here, or this pot, is getting some nice golden flavor on the bottom. And I'm about ready now to toss in some red peppers, and I want to get them nice and bright and let them cook. I want to get them a little bit softened. Another thing that I'm going to add as a garnish, I'm going to drop the mash. Ugh. I bet, and I bet it is. I mean, I like all that. It's about the color wise, my mom. It's kind of freaky. Is that right? Is it all fine? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to use a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of this. I'm going to use a 
Okay, guys, and I'm going to really kick it up and say, let's make it Asian. I'm going to save this. I've got a little bit of sesame oil here in this bottle. When the rice comes out, I'm going to give just a little drizzle and toss the rice, and we're going to kick it real quick. If I wanted, I could add just a little ginger. Okay? Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this broth out of here. This is, I don't know what to name it yet. Guys, this is my keto Asian dish. <laughs> I'm going to put these green beans in here. Do you have boyfriend? Yeah, I'll call it. You have boyfriend? Oh, that's why. Get this going here. All right. Oh, I spilt my damn broth. Powder. Oh, uh, well, it's all right. I'm gonna put that in there, and I'm gonna get a cup of water. A cup of water. I know you guys. This is like another Nancy train wreck, huh? It, it's like she's a train wreck. I really, I gotta just walk out the door and leave you with a mess. Do you mind? Because I have to be gone in an hour. I gotta still go to the gas station. I gotta get my drinks together. I gotta go pee. Oh, thank you. I love it when we trade. So we've got some chicken. We've got some red peppers. Even right now, it's so pretty. Oh, you guys can't even see, can you? I'm sorry. Oh, but you'll see when it's all done. I will. I will. Oh, is that beautiful? It's so pretty. And we can even to add to this some slivered almonds. We can add, we could do some nut garnish on top. I'm talking yum yum. Yeah, you could even do a coconut shred on top, a shredded coconut. I mean, it's just whatever. It's like, a, we will call this Asian fusion. Why not? Why? Because is it a true Asian dish? No, hell no, it ain't no real deal because I'm not a real deal on that. But, Oh, there we go. It's starting to bubble and simmer. Mm -mm -mm. You're such a sweet mom cooking before you leave. Yeah, uh, you guys don't know. She's been gone. I have been really grouchy with her, <laughs> but she's been really grouchy with me. Like I said, for two chicks who uh, still menstruate, have hormones, and both trying to quit and do keto together, I'm a lot. I'm surprised we're both alive, but we are. Yeah. True. True. Hey, yesterday was a great day. Yeah, we did have a great day, didn't we? Yeah. We did have a great day yesterday. What's the sun for the broth powder? The what? The sun for the broth, the sun for the broth powder. Oh, just get any bone broth, okay? So this is a beef curry. So if you were to use a beef broth or chicken broth, it, broth is one of those things. I mean, it's I just use whatever I have on hand. Now, the flavor in this one already has the ginger and everything in it. But you could easily use bone broth and add just a few slivers of ginger or even just a few slices and let it just kind of sit and simmer and infuse the flavor in there, okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to give my broth a taste. I do want it to thicken a little bit because I want it to be like, you know, how Chinese food or Asian food has that gooey, gooey mm, to it. I'm getting ready, too. I ain't done. Ooh, there's cream cheese in there too. I'm not, not touching. There will no, no will be no cream cheese. There will be no cheese or dairy touching this dish. Why? No, because no. I am fixing to no, no. Right now, Oh yeah, that's delicious over that. I thought you were talking about putting it in my dish. Mmm, Elizabeth, already it's yummy. But I'm gonna kick it up with some heat. You don't have to be in the mirror. I'm watching. I'm watching okay, right. here. Okay, I'm fixing to add some heat to it. Give me salt. It's gonna have some more E. coli. It's good though. It is good though, huh? And I'm gonna add some. Now, this is heat to taste. This is the sambal uh, olek ch chili. Okay, red chili. This is the same stuff as sriracha minus the sugar. All right. So, 
You can use this instead of sriracha, and you will not have to deal with it. I'm going to add some heat to this green beans, pepper, chicken, this Asian fusion broth that's in here. So we're going to get that ginger, the chili. What helps with bloating? Mmm, ginger. Ginger does. Help with bloating for the, this, is this kind of good bloating? For you? No. Are you bloated? Hi, I'm pregnant with a keto baby. Mmm. No, uh, it says which ingredients help with bloating? Oh. Not like the Asian food, they always relate to bloating. Oh, well, I would imagine it would be sugars and all the carbs and stuff that they use that make you feel bloaty and, and that. But I'll tell you that if you are using ginger, it will take away bloating. So now I'm going to add one more thing, and I have got to organize this again. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. No, I didn't mean that, Lord. I didn't mean help finding this. I just, you know, I just need to be able to. My suprin. Uh, the little, it's on the top shelf to the left. Is it in a little jar? No. It's in a, a bag, like one of these bags that I've got a hundred bags of. Okay, so, I don't know what it looks like. It, well, this is the long contour brown bag. The sucrin is also a brown bag. It, uh, there's a bag that's about the stove, I think. Oh, I've got a piece. I really can't. Your butt looks really small. Oh, that's always good, baby. Guys, give me a minute. I'm <laughs> looking for something. <laughs> use this one. I wanted the sucrine gold, okay? Because while I've got this cooking, I've got, and she, I, Elizabeth said, mentioned that some salt is needed in here. And I would have to agree. I would say just a pitch of salt. Definitely. Um, mm, just a little bit though. Damn, that's good. Like, this is so dang good. Uh, I'm going to give just a little hit smidge of, of salt. Maybe about a half a teaspoon. Okay, and I've got some chili, which I think the heat is perfect. And then, right now, guys, I'm going to give a pinch, just a little pinch. I'm going to call it a tablespoon of some brown swirl. I would prefer sucrine gold or more content gold, but I couldn't find it, so I got the swerve oh, gold. Because now we've got a little sweet, we've got a little spicy, we've got a little salty, we've got, we have got all, we have umami going right here. Oh, so I said that your butt looked good on camera. That was me saying it. But uh -huh. now they're coming in and saying, mommy, you just have yours, it means you're looking good from the behind. I was <laughs> going to say how cute your booty is, ha ha, but I'm not the only one. Everybody was thinking that your butt Oh, you guys are so sweet. No, oh, mom, you, I mean, your butt was on point. <laughs> right on, I like that. I've never had that compliment in my life, ever. Mm. If I could camera it and back up on the booty and zoom in right now, I would, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to turn around now because my, my butt is hot. My butt is hot. It's shy. My butt is shy. Mom, I don't even care which thickener I get. Today it is going to be guar gum. I'm going to give a little teeny <laughs> sprinkle of guar gum. Just a little one. Because we're going to thicken this sauce up. We want this sauce to have that certain, you know, when you go to a Chinese buffet. When you go to the Chinese buffet and you get, um, um, no, I don't want that much. Ah. I'm going to use like a half a teaspoon of this because there's not, you know, a huge amount. There's only about a cup of liquid in there. So I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon and give this a stir. But yeah, it's like when you go to the buffet and you're looking at all of those ooey, gooey, sticky sweetness. If I had an orange peel, I could even add a pitch of this orange sauce if I wanted. Do you have orange marmalade? Or I have orange extract. Oh, use more okay. Here we go. I'm going to go with the orange extract for 25. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, like when you're playing a game show. Uh, I've got two 
it on the list, Beth. There it is. And this, I'm only adding a tinge. I just want essence. I do not want orange flavor. So I am adding maybe a half of the quarter, which is an eighth, folks. An eighth. That's it. That's next. That's Uncle Johnny. Okay. You smell that orange? You also see that chili? We have it. Oh my God. I'm going to turn this off now. Because we have arrived. Oh, yes, babies. And it looks good. Okay. Other than taking forever, I want you to see that ooey gooey orange beautiful mess that I made. Boom. Bam. Are we ready to play? You know it. And I got to take pictures. So I got to do all that. Let's get on it. Let's do it. I'm going to do a drizzle. Oh, yes, I am. Now, if you want it to be super, you know, just like not make a big deal out of it, you could easily toss this into that and it could be rice and, but no, let's not. Let's, you could make this just to enjoy, but you could also make this a date night dish. Make it pretty for your eyes. Make it pretty for your eyes. Make it beautiful. So I'm going to just reach in here. There's nothing to this. This is the bird's eye riced cauliflower roasted garlic rice. So it is flavored. It's seasoned. And I'm just going to take and put two scoops. Two scoops. I want a pretty pile of rice. I say rice now like it's no big deal. I mean, honestly, to me, it is. this is my rice now. From now on, y'all, this is rice to me. I only have to put the word Kali in front of it. And I guess unless, unless it's on my website so other people know. But you'll know. You'll know. Now, let's just do a little fancy smanchy drizzle. Let's go on the narrow end here. And I'm going to give a little. Give a little. It came out a little fast. Eh, oh, maybe. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. Oh, yes. I'm supposed to tell y'all. Share, like, become a patron, a patron, become a proud supporter. Uh, hearts and likes, please. Lots of hearts and likes. Um, what else am I supposed to say to y'all? Let's see. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you. <laughs> mm, let's see here. We have 22 shares so far. Mm, 22 shares. That's awesome. Now, you could bam this with some nuts on top if you wanted. You could put some shredded coconut on top if you liked. Um, I think we have achieved some beauty and some greatness. Ah, let's pull this. Again, you can make this as spicy or not as spicy as you like. You can oh, use the Thai curry broth. Huh? Some of that uh, sriracha sauce in there? Uh, no, I gave it to Danielle. One bottle actually went bad. That's how long it sat. It turned a weird color. The green one she took home because there's green sriracha too now. So anyways, guys, I want you to see this beautiful, delicious, lovely plate. They love the, this is rice to me. <laughs> this is rice to me. This is rice to me from now on. And we have pretty color. We've got chicken. You could do asparagus if you like instead of green beans. I just, I, green beans sounded delicious to me today. But look at that pretty bite. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's saying, eat me, Nancy. Somebody said, if I could move my front to meet my behind, I'd eat you too. <laughs> Somebody else said, collar rice is no longer the devil to me. I've made peace with it. This is rice to me. It is. Mmm. Mmm. I can taste the sesame. I went a little strong on the sesame, but I think that is good. Mmm. Oh, there's mine. Um, you're going to taste that? Here. I'm in the mirror. She's like, I'm in the mirror. Oh, to me, the heat is comes up on the back side of it. You're not in it now. I know, I got off early. What are your thoughts? I think I could throw down. I think that stands. That's really good. I think it stands on its own. I have some. She's like, it's missing soy sauce. I'm like, I have some. I forgot it. To top it, it didn't need it while it was cooking, though. No. Uh uh. Where? Oh my gosh, I love me so much. Because I love having all these condiments. Just give me a second, because you know I have to dig in the fridge? No. It's here. 
Right here. Let me show it real quick. So, she said, all I'm missing now is, is uh, soy sauce, and I've got my coconut aminos right there. Oh, jeez. Liquid Aminos, guys, by Bragg's. It is gluten-free. It's wheat-free. It's bomb diggity. Is that it? Is that is that the what it needed? Yep. She's right. Definitely a little pep in my step. I hope you guys enjoyed today's live tutorial and grocery haul. I combined the two. Wowzers, guys. Mm. Making it this weekend. Say goodbye to it, Mama. LOL. Hey, I didn't take it. I gave it back. Mmm. She did give it back. I'm, I'm willing to share this plate with you, though, because I'm so damn... No, but I can't get on the camera, and you're just... <sighs> okay, I'm just going to take one more bite, because, oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, I wish I had some takeout boxes. I could I could put that in a photo, and you, you wouldn't know that that did not come... From them. That doesn't even taste like cauliflower at all. No. I want Danielle to try that. Oh my god. Mm. And that's off the top of my head. Because I didn't, I was like, I don't know. I told her today before we started the live, I said, so, cauliflower, should I do chicken? Taste that orange just a little bit. Just enough, huh? I said, should, should, uh. It's greasy, like Chinese food, but in a good way. Yeah, I was like, should I use chicken or hamburger? She's like, chicken. Should I use cabbage? Green beans, green beans. I was like, mm, okay. Peppers? Yes. I knew not to mushrooms, but I didn't want to use onions either. I didn't want to use, like, I, I was going to actually bam it with a little garnish you of this. I forgot to dice up the green onions for garnish, guys. I'll put it on my picture, though. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I can't see what anybody's saying because I've got this thing spread way over. love that stuff. Yummies. Loved it. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, and it really wasn't. I mean, if you take into consideration what it cost, this was clean eating. I love when Elizabeth is on too. And they Shelly. do love it. That was Miss Sharon Swilford, wasn't it? No, it was Shelly. How did you Oh, hi. Okay, Shelby. So, yeah, if you take into consideration with it, we used three chicken thighs, one dollar package of green beans, um, three little peppers, um, uh, uh, some broth, you can easily use your own. I, I mean, you, if you don't have things like five spice seasoning, I, I thought this was well worth having. It is so delicious. But uh, Asian night, keto, yeah, we got it, baby. Bon appetito. Oh, the really hot. Yeah, I had to be Italian when I said bon appetito because I don't know how to say it in. Say, you have boyfriend? Oh. Uh, um, oh my gosh. I'm so thirsty. I have oh, a uh, no. I have the fridge. no no no. I have no no no. <laughs> I brought in, but I don't know what I did with it. I have a black cherry zevia opened. Um, you took one mm, one. I'm gonna I'm gonna open one. I, ow, ow. been doing that for how many years you're 20 something a little angels older than you so 30 something years of the simpsons nelson. what is that boy's name nelson nelson, nelson. no 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 was that yeah nelson <sighs> dr zevia i've never tried this one and it's delicious delicious yum i haven't tried that flavor oh yeah, I'm driving to Dallas. Didn't I say Dallas? I don't know. Yeah, I said I'm going to the Big D. Gotta go. I gotta go to the airport and pick up my mother-in-law's sister from Oregon. She was flying in with her dog. Huh. Fun, fun, oh, everyone. Still? Abigail. She's still alive. She's still alive. She's a teacup Yorkie, teacup, oh. like a nervous little ball of wreck, a little, a little, a little nervous ball of fur. Yeah, like, like she just. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, it's our family thing. It's, she's a little dog. Very nervous little dog. All right, guys. Thank you. Please become a proud Melissa, supporter. Awesome. Melissa, my daughter is on? Yep. She just tuned in. Did she say hi, Mama? Nope. Not yet. She just said she's watching. Hello, daughter. I love you and I miss you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love and kisses. 
So there you go. Please become a proud Keto for Real Life People supporter and hit that Patreon link when I get done. I will link it up for you guys. Um, keep me going and, and hey, the more I support I get, the further I get to go so I, I can come see some people. Hola, Melissa. Hola, Hola baby. All right, loves. So, remember guys, fats first, moderate protein, low carb, get you some, tune in tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. I'm going to be with Kelly Weston Free on her page. Um, she invited me, and I'm like, sure, and she's like, cool, and I'm like, all right. So, yeah, there we go. And then Wellness Wednesday tomorrow night at 6.30. Be there or be square. Talk to you later. i got to come around here to turn this off oh, and run into stuff. Okay. Okay.